Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel review my CDR. In this video we will talk about how to write CDR report for chemical engineering. We will talk about Chemical engineers and Australian migration Benefits of Australian skilled migration What is CDR? Job and responsibilities of chemical engineer Tips for writing a CDR How to write career episode Continuing Professional Development, CPD Summary Statement CDR Application Documents Chemical engineers work and absorb the knowledge of chemical engineering, which works in the industrial field for converting materials into the various products. Chemical engineers deals with the new design and management of the plants. Chemical engineer works principally in the industry for the production of different products. Fast-paced development in industries in Australia is giving more opportunities to those engineers who are related to the field of chemical engineering. Australia is now hiring engineers in a very high ratio. They are providing a better standard lifestyle with good salary. Australian economy has attracted chemical engineers from around the globe. Australian economy is growing exponentially with spectacular economic boom in oil and gas and mining sector. Chemical engineers with relevant international experience are in greater need in Australia. Australian government has opened skilled migration visas for chemical engineers to reduce the serious shortages of chemical engineers to overcome the delay in projects. Chemical engineers are in huge demand in Australia in some particular sectors, e.g. oil and gas, process operation, higher education, etc. Entry requirement for this occupation is a bachelor degree or higher qualification. In some instances relevant experience is required in addition to the formal qualification. Benefits of Australian Skilled Migration Australia provides good salary and other benefits to those who are professional engineers and want to work in Australia. Most of the engineers related to this field indulge to Australian immigration to start a better life and demonstrate their skills and abilities in their profession. Family Benefits Free Medical Free education for children. Job opportunities. What is CDR? Competency demonstration report is a report which is assessed by the Engineers Australia to judge your skills and abilities. CDR demonstrates your engineering skills to the EA. CDR is a technical report and required for migration skills assessment through Engineers Australia. CDR is used to assess your competency level. CDR is the way to move to Australia if you are eligible and meet their requirements. CDR consists of, three career episodes, summary statement, and continuing professional development. Job and Responsibilities of Chemical Engineer Chemical engineers prepare design and plans to control the chemical process system in order to eliminate and distinct the parts of which affect in chemical behavior, evaluate and test the fuels, control the storage of fuel and gas to transfer heat. Chemical engineers check the system and equipment to give maximum protection under an operating system. Chemical engineers get the reports from other technical and chemist workers. Chemical engineers read the report, study, and estimating the cost spent on a process. Chemical engineers always try to control the pollution problems by utilizing it. Chemical engineers are specialized to investigate the problems faced in chemical engineering projects. How to prepare CDR report for chemical engineer Engineers Australia asks for CDR to write in your own words to judge your communication skills and abilities. If you are poor or weak in writing CDR then it is possible to reduce your chance to move into Australia. Tips for writing a CDR before you start writing a CDR, you have to clearly understand the purpose of the CDR and ready carefully study the guidelines and latest Migration Skills Assessment MSA, booklet published by EA. CDR is based on three career episodes, Continuing Professional Development CPD, and Summary Statement. 
Each of this element has its own specification and give different details about your career. Make sure when you write, you should write in Australian format because British and Australian formats are similar to each other. When you start writing career episode you have to think many times about the project you want to write. You need to fulfill the job tasks of your ENSYSCO code and requirements of professional category for which you are applying for the skill assessment. Engineers Australia only wants to know about your skills and not about your company and their market share. They will assess your skills for what you did and how you managed the project. You have to provide all details about your qualification, experience and job along with proof that all the data belong to you. Each of three career episode paragraphs has their own importance. Summary statement will describe shortly about your whole career episodes. Always start your career episode as a first person to point your engineering and management skills. Focus on what you did in your career like, I did, I planned, I designed, I solved. How to write career episode Career episode writing for engineers Australia skill assessment process represents your knowledge and experience in engineering and it can be either from education or work experience. Each career episode should be based on a specific period or distinct aspect of your engineering activity, and all three episodes should be from different periods or aspects of your engineering activity. It is important to provide evidence that how you have applied engineering knowledge and skills in the nominated occupation. Career episodes should be written in your own words and use good English. Plagiarism in career episode is not recommended as it will lead you get banned for one year, lose money, and time wastage. Engineers Australia use best plagiarism detection software which can identify the sentences taken from previously submitted CDR or from any published material available on internet. Career episodes can be based upon an engineering task undertaken as part of your educational program. A project you have worked on or are currently working on. A specific position that you occupied or currently occupy, in this case, the career episode must comprise more than a mere duty statement. A particular engineering problem that you were required to solve. What should be the length of career episode? The length of each career episode should be from 1,000 to 2,500 words and there is no need to present large amount of technical data in career episodes. Career episode dose. Good written communication. Application of engineering knowledge and skills. Emphasize your personal role, what you did and how. Use first person singular I designed, I investigated. Career episode dose. Excessive technical data, photos, calculations, tables, is not required. Emphasize any engineering problems identified by you and any particular problem solving techniques you applied. Number each paragraph in each of career episode and write those numbers in summary statement. The numbering of paragraphs should be in this format Career episode 1. Paragraphs 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, Career Episode 2, Paragraphs 2.1, 2.2, 2.3, etc. Career Episode 3, Paragraphs 3.1, 3.2, 3.3, etc. Each career episode should be written in four sections. The sections that are supposed to be written in each career episode are Introduction Background Personal Engineering Activity Summary First section is the introduction. The length of the introduction section should be approximately 100 words. Introduction should contain the following information. Chronology Dates and duration of the career episode Geographical location where the experience was gained Name of the organization. Title of the position occupied by you. Second section is background. Background provides the context in which you have been working or studying. The length of the background section should be from 200-500 words. 
it should contain the following information. Nature of the overall engineering project. Objectives of the project. Nature of your particular work area. A chart of the organization structure slash organogram highlighting your position, in relation to the career episode. Job description or statement of your duties, provide an official duty statement where available. The third and the most important section is personal engineering activity. This is the main section of any career episode, and it describes the actual work performed by you as an engineer. Its length should be from 500 to 1000 words. In this section, you need to focus on the engineering tasks performed by you. You should describe your own role rather than teamwork. This section should contain the following information. How you applied your engineering knowledge and skills. Tasks delegated to you and how you went about accomplishing them. Any particular technical difficulties slash problems you encountered and how you solved them. Strategies devised by you including any original or creative design work. How you worked with other team members. And the last and fourth section is summary. In summary section you need to conclude your impressions of the engineering activity and your role in it. Its length should be from 50 to 100 words. Summary section should contain the following information. Your view of the overall project. How the project fared in meeting the goals or requirements. How your personal role contributed to the project. How to prepare CDR report for chemical engineer. Continuing professional development, CPD. Continuing professional development report is required by Engineers Australia for migration skilled assessment. CPD shows that an engineer is keeping himself up to date with developments in field of engineering. All related CPD must be included in competency demonstration report application. Continuing professional development, CPD. Continuing professional development, CPD, must be provided in list format with following necessary information. Title of training. Date of training. Duration of the training. Venue of the training. CPD may include the following details. Postgraduate study. Research papers presented or delivered in any conferences or publication. Workshops, short courses, seminars, discussion groups, technical inspections, and technical meetings attended by engineer. Preparation and presentation of material for courses, conferences, seminars, and symposia. Services to the engineering profession, volunteer work, board or committee volunteering, mentoring. Private study, example books, journals, manuals. Note, Continuing Professional Development, CPD, listing must not be more than one A4 page. It is not necessary to include certificates from each course. Summary Statement After completing three career episodes, make ensure that you addressed all the competency elements for the nominated occupational category and ANSYSCO code. Summary Statement is used to demonstrate the results of your analysis. Summary statement cross-references the competency elements with the particular paragraph in your career episode. Each paragraph in your career episodes should be numbered properly. Select the right format of summary statement, as the format is different all professional categories. Note, that only one summary statement is required for all three episodes. CDR Application Documents you would submit your application with all relevant documents plus assessment fee. Following documents are required to assess your engineering degree through CDR pathway. How to prepare CDR report for chemical engineer. Checklist. Recent passport style photograph. Prime identification document for example current passport, only page including photo and name. Academic degree certificate. A letter of completion will only be accepted as a substitute before graduation and only for Australian qualifications. Complete an official academic transcript, 
including any recognition of prior learning. Curriculum Vitae or Resume TOEFL or PTE Academic Result Official change of name documents where applicable for example Gazette publication, letter, or certificate issued by registry. Registration certificate under the relevant licensing authority where applicable for example Philippine Regulations Commission. Documentary evidence of employment for periods of 12 months or more, or if the employment provides a basis for a career episodes. List of continuing professional development. Three career episodes. Summary statement for the nominated category. Official English language translation of above documents where applicable. Note that please upload each document separately. A document might consist of more than one page. Do not upload each page of the document separately. Competency demonstration report, CDR, samples. Writing and review services are available for those engineers and ICT professionals who wants to GT positive skill assessment from Engineers Australia at economical prices. We have hundreds of satisfied successful clients who used our migration skills assessment report writing services and got positive skills assessment through Engineers Australia in first attempt. CDR Testimonial I really appreciated the help you have provided in writing my career episodes and summary statement of my CDR. Your writers are well skilled and know how to present CDR. Your team precisely looked into each and every aspect of my engineering projects. Great work! Principal Engineer Bangalore, India If you need any help do contact us. Thank you for your time.